house in the forest. I told you it was pretty nice. My father and I were watching TV. My father kept on kneeling at the TV and he said a lot of bad words. He kept on saying, stupid, stupid, and a lot worse words than that. I was scared, but he told me it wasn't my fault. Then he said a lot of bad things are gonna happen now, and he was right. We've lived here for a year and a half now, but when things got bad, we didn't move here right away. We have to go to Camp Mitch. The electricity's been off for months and now there's no water. Soon there's gonna be dysentery. Things are very, very bad here. Beside, the police have already been here trying to confiscate any firearms we might have and also any gasoline. Then Ed, our neighbor, told me that he, he drove into the city looking for supplies and he was jumped by about 50 guys. He only barely escaped with his truck and his life. It's not safe here anymore, it's just not safe. So in the middle of the night, my father and Uncle Mitch quietly loaded the trucks, and in the morning we left. My mother and Aunt Kelsey went first in my mother's car, then us, then Uncle Mitch. Well, say goodbye to our neighborhood for a while. Looks like we'll be going to our camp for some time. driving for hours and we haven't seen any cars or people. That's why we came this way. No people, no trouble. I think we're getting close. Right, Dad? Right, Melody. It's just a little further, maybe five miles. My Uncle Mitch and my Aunt Kelsey have a house like this not too far away. 